Yeah, it's called the Sokono. Kima Saini. Kima Saini. Yeah. And so, Green Heart is an English. Green Heart is an English name. Yeah. Yeah. So this is a uh, okay. This is a, a very important tree in Maasai. Yeah. It's a, a very important herb. Yeah. So first of all, it is very important for the making of uh, traditional toothbrushes. Yeah. Like the one I'm using here. Yeah. So it's like actually it's one of the best. It's like, so it's only you break a. Yeah, a you just break a branch like this one. Yeah. And, uh, and you can form it with the. And you can just yes, remove the outer cover. You can yeah. perform it with a knife. Yeah. Even if it's soft, you can even remove it with your fingers. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, things like that. Yeah. yeah. And it has a bit of a special taste. So it has a bit of a special taste. Yeah. So it's like if you want to do it, you can just do it like this. Yeah. Like this. Then you do it like this. Yeah, like this. Yeah. Just to continue to do it. Yeah. So it's a. Uh, it's a very good brush. If you yeah. use it, it's like you can even stay for two days or three days. Yeah. When your mouth is just clean, you just feel like. But even that is how I noticed. Yeah. Um, actually, the the time I've been now in Masai mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. uh, land, yeah. I've been bringing my toothbrush, mm -hmm. but uh, the one, the plastic one, yeah. the modern one. Yeah. But it's like I've not felt yeah. I have needed it. Yeah. And when I felt I needed yeah. to brush my teeth, yeah. I've gone for. For the local for a tree, yeah. for a local tree, to yeah. And yeah. it's actually mm -hmm. cleans so well, yeah. And uh, you, it is nice to do, do it for a long time. Yeah, so you can really do a proper cleaning. It's of actually, the it's actually preferable. Yeah, that's you only, it is. And as you say, yeah, you don't need to do it every day. You don't need to even to do it every day. Yeah. You can do it and even you can even do it for three days. Yeah. Or yeah. yeah, and it's like you still feel good and yeah. yeah. And this one has got kind of a taste, it's kind of bitter, yeah. it's kind of have got some some kind of effect, it cleanses. Yeah. I think it kind of clean even the bacteria around yeah. there and even like it makes mm. the mouth a bit light, something like that. Yeah. So it's actually a very good, uh, it's, yeah. it gives a very good, one of the best uh, mm. traditional toothbrushes. Yeah. And the other major important of the Sokonui. Yeah. But even the toothbrush? Mm -hmm. Like even if you have a gum disease or something, yeah, it will. It can, yeah, yeah. It actually, can really it help. It's, can it's really a help. herb for that. Yeah, actually, it is a herb. It's kind of a has the effect of medicinal, whatever kind of uh, toothpaste, whatever for the mouth. Mm. Kind of yeah, so those so, so effects. Mm. And uh, another yeah. major important major use yeah. is is to use as a herb mm -hmm. for the treatment of malaria. Mm. Yeah, like uh, in old days, like. Before the use of these uh, modern drugs and whatever, this is actually one of the very common and very uh, important tree that is being used to treat malaria. Yeah, so it's like you get it, then you scratch like the surface. So it's like, okay, you go, you get a big tree, mm -hmm. you just cut a branch like this, like here, and then you cut here. Okay. So now you can. So it should be a bit. Yeah, it should mature, be a bit lower, but yeah, it should be lower. mature. Should be a mature one. Mm -hmm. and then now you let it dry. Okay. It's good. You let it dry. Yeah. You put it in the sun to dry. Yeah. Then now you can just come and and uh, scratch the surface like this. Just yeah. a small piece of it. You see. Okay. You just scratch a bit, and uh, it's a dry Even one. Even this is enough. Ah, yeah, it's enough. Just a yeah. little. Just a little of yeah. it. Then you boil the water. Mm -hmm. Actually, you don't boil with, with, with water. Traditionally, you don't use water in this. Place. You use okay. you use water, mm -hmm. but sometimes it's used with uh, oil, like mm -hmm. animal fat. Yeah. Like you slaughter a sheep or a goat, yeah. you get the fat from the meat or whatever. Mm -hmm. When it's fresh, you see you put it. Yeah. You, you, you just scratch the the the, the, the cover yeah. and you grind it like a powder kind of thing. And then uh, after that, you put it in the in the fat. Then you stir, and then you sieve it into another cup, then you can take it. It's very good. It's normally given to women when they give birth. This okay. is this kind of so it's kill the bacteria. It's not it's only, not for, only malaria, for malaria actually. Malaria. Yeah. Because even when a woman gives birth, yeah. this is the best it's like a risk it's like it's, like it's a, a risk uh, situation. Yeah, it's like it helps it cleanses the yeah. the stomach. Yeah. It kind of cleanses it cleans kills the bacteria. Mm -hmm. 
kind of feels uh, those effects, you know, like when a woman give birth, mm-hmm. it's like they could have so many complications, maybe with a stomach, something like that, yeah. and even some whatever. So it's like this one is being given and it, it will kind of clear, yeah. cleans the stomach and kill all the bacteria whatever, with the, in the fat, so they give it. Yeah. And also when you have malaria, you can be given it in the form of uh, fat, yeah. or they can, because it's very bitter, mm. it's a very bitter, bitter tree. Yeah, even now. Yeah, I feel the most. Yeah, like the taking, most cleansing, uh, it's yeah. like taking chili Some, yeah, or something. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that is it. Mm. And that is what makes the, the mouth like very fresh. After yeah. that, it can stay fresh, fresh, and yeah. you feel like mm. yeah. And so, if you boil it, you can boil the water, put some milk. In it and then you just scratch it and then when it is like coming all up when this boiling point you remove it you put you put it and you start it a little bit just a few minutes you don't let it boil with the water because it's very strong yeah. so it's like you, you start it yeah. boiling water and then you just you just put it when it's already boiling you remove it then you you, you start it mm. then you kind of uh, make it uh, cool it into let it cool then you save it you take it mm. it's very good for malaria and actually it has been very effective yeah, yeah it has been very effective yeah. so apart from yeah. Uh, yeah. so apart from Margalai, yeah. which has which is like a new discovery yeah. this has been the tree yeah. so maybe all the uh, glai this, is this has been the tree in this particular area in this particular and i think no in the old maasai area in the old maasai okay. land is known this tree is known yeah. all over yeah. so everybody knows yeah. so it's like before the, this common drug People just used to come to go to wherever they are, yeah. get pieces of it, and mm. keep it in their villages, in yeah. their homes, yeah. so that it's like when there is a so need, it's it available. It's available. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. Yeah. And uh, it is found close to rivers, or yeah, mostly it's found in in the river and forest. Yeah. Like in the places where this forest where there's a long river beds. Yeah. So mostly it's found in the river beds yeah. or in, in big forest. Okay. Mostly in in places where there is plenty of water. Yeah. These are soft wood. Yeah. It actually needs some you know lot of water. Yeah. So it's actually found mostly and it grows a bit and it grows very fast. It needs those. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it's mostly found in the river and forest yeah. or uh, at least in some big forest. Yeah. You can you find them. Okay. Yeah, but uh, maybe in places, in dry areas, you don't find them. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it's a very common tree around here. It's very yeah. common, there's, there's plenty of but it here. There was something you said before, uh, also about using it and uh, treating malaria. Mm-hmm. You should be very careful oh, with yeah. the amount. Yeah, because actually. Because it can actually, yeah. apart from other, other herbs, mm-hmm. it's actually so many herbs mm-hmm. you can take so much of it yeah. or so frequently yeah. it has no effect yeah. but this tree mm-hmm. it has it is a bit of dangerous yeah. you take too much of it yeah there's actually a, there's a risk involved yeah actually what what happened is because this tree as i told you is very bitter yeah. it's very strong yeah. so sometimes you need to take it with with care yeah. because there are some even some trees some of them are very bitter. It also depends on the age, whether it is very old, it's too exposed to the, the sun or something. So there are some some of them which are very bitter, very strong, such that you can just maybe take it like any other normal and you find it's really a very strong tree, a very strong herb, and it's going to affect. You can even kill somebody if you take if you take it uh, an overdose. You know, it's like it's yeah. very strong. Yeah. So it's like. You need to take it with care. Yeah. You like, need to know what you're doing. You need to know exactly what you're doing yeah. and the kind of situations that you find yourself. Like, you just take a small, a small, oh, yeah. a small amount of it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so you don't take it. Yeah, yeah you need to actually take it like you really know. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, no, take no, exactly no. what is required. But what is it good? Is it you need a little. You just need a little. So, actually. Yeah. You can have it, have it, have it, have it. Yeah. 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 You can travel with it. Yeah, you can travel with it. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know if this thing is, is possible to find it in marketplaces? Uh, I don't think it's really. Okay, it's like it's not very, it's not easy to find it yeah. in the marketplace. Yeah. But maybe from the herbalist. 
Okay. Like the old woman, yeah. uh, the old woman harbour is around yeah. here. She can actually provide. Yeah. So it's like not so many people take it in the market. So just maybe a few, but at least maybe you. you it's have like to this thing is <coughs> because there's many herbs yeah. that uh, massage. Yeah. This is not one of them. Yeah, it's okay. Oh. See, I'm home. The, the one they sell mostly, the one yeah. that they are just being taken regularly yeah. or uh, also with soup yeah. is uh, motoric, yeah. like with the cow soup or goat soup mm. or whatever. Mm. But this one, you cannot take it with soup. Okay. This one is not taken regularly. You only take it when you are sick of uh, malaria. Yeah. So that is a different, I think that is a major difference mm. from the other herbs. Yeah. Because the other herbs, you can take them mostly even when you, you don't need to be sick, you don't need to be what. You can yes. take it with soup. In it's just a bit. You can take it like that. You can just boil yeah. it like water. You let yeah. it cool and you take it like water. Yeah. It's good. You can take it with you boil it and you can even make porridge out of it. Mm. You just make a good porridge out of the herb or whatever. Boil it and you put some ma ma maize flour. Mm. And you get a good porridge. You can take it just like that. But yeah. this one, you cannot take it just anyhow. Yeah. So it's unless, not food like that. Herb. No. Unless when you are sick. So I think that is a medicine. Yeah. yeah. It's a real medicine. Yeah, it's a real medicine. This one. You can't take it yes, anyhow. And uh, it, <coughs> is, uh, it is known for uh, malaria. Do you know any other disease that uh, you can take? Well, I only know of malaria, hmm. which is very good in treating malaria. Yeah. And the fact that it's being used for women who gave birth. And because we know like women, when they give birth, it's like they go to the hospital to be injected some drugs for maybe infection, for antibiotic, for infection, to prevent further yeah. injection, for further whatever. So instead of them taking to the hospital yeah. to be treated for, for those infections, whatever, using those uh, drugs, whatever, they use this one. Yeah. And it's very effective. So I don't know how it, that could be explained. Maybe mm. which kind of a condition does it treat when it is being used in that manner? Mm. Because actually it's being used in that way. Mm. Like when a woman just gives birth, the following day, a, a sheep is slaughtered. Mm. Then they get some fat from the from the from the sheep. And then they they put it, they get they scrape this from the surface. Then they mix it with the fat when it's very hot. They just tie, yeah. they sieve it, yeah. and the woman just take it like that. Yeah clean oil, uh, clean uh, animal fat yeah. with the, this one. The oil that is yeah. boiled and That's is liquid boiled, now. Very liquid the, the in liquid form. Liquid. Yeah, yeah, very in liquid form. But it, it means, mm -hmm. if, if it can be good in that situation, mm -hmm. if further research mm -hmm. is done, mm -hmm. maybe it will have so many uses. Yeah, this actually, yeah. Yeah, that is it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because, and it's very effective. When they are given women, when they give birth, yeah. it's like it really prevents them from further infection, from yeah. further what, so... Yeah, and it is interesting. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>